Hey, what's up? John Sanmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. Hey, I just want to give a quick thanks to one of our sponsors at Simple Program, which is Dev Mountain Bootcamp. You should go check them out. The link is in the description. They are a coding bootcamp and they can teach you web development, iOS development, UX design, a lot of good stuff. I get a lot of feedback from a lot of you out there that email me and have told me about Dev Mountain, so I decided to check them out myself. And I, I like what I found. I like their programs. They offer uh, some 12 week intensive programs. They also offer some after hours programs, which I know that some of you will like. So go check them out you can see the link in the description below dev mountain bootcamp and a big thank you to them for sponsoring simple programmer and i got a question real simple question a lot of people have asked this so which is how to learn a new programming language fast how do i learn a new programming language fast uh, this is uh, is definitely something that uh, that a lot of developers struggle with uh, I've got some advice on this. I've, I've learned a lot of programming languages quickly. So I'm gonna give you some sort of base resources, first of all. So uh, just, just for my own background, I am a Pluralsight author. I did 55 courses on Pluralsight. You can check them out here. Uh, and in that time, that was about two and a half years, I learned a lot of programming languages, okay? I learned and taught courses on Go, on Lua, on, gosh, what else was there in there? Uh, the uh, Objective C, there's a bunch of them. Dart, okay, there's a bunch of them in there. And so, so I had to learn. Basically, sometimes I had to learn programming languages in a week, and then teach a course on that programming language the next week. So I. I I just want to give you that background so that you know that I know what I'm talking about here because I've done this a lot of times and, I, and I've probably learned maybe 15 programming languages over the course of my career. So I can definitely help you here. I've got some, some real good tips for you. Uh, but before I get into that, I do want to tell you one other resource, which is a course I created that will help you learn anything quickly. It's called 10 Steps to Learn Anything Quickly. Uh, definitely, if, if you're interested in learning something fast, uh, that, I mean, that's, that's my best advice there. I've got a 10-step program that you should be able to apply that's pretty simple to learn anything. But I'm gonna get into the specifics of learning a new programming language in this video because I think that's what, uh, what a lot of you are, are really interested in. Like I said, the, both of those resources, check them out, the Pluralsight, check out the 10 Steps to Learn Anything Quickly course. Again, uh, you, know, you can check those out to, to get more in-depth information but let's talk specifically about programming languages. So, one of the best ways that I've found to learn a programming language as quickly as possible, if you already know a programming language, again, if you just want to learn a new programming language, I'll tell you about how to do that uh, towards the end of the video. I've got a resource for you, a book that, I, that I've written that has some information on that. But if you, if you want to learn a new programming language and you already understand at least one programming language, the best thing that you could possibly do is that you take something that you've written in one language, okay, that you already know, and you port that over to the new language, right? So if you wrote an app application in one language, can you write that same exact application in another language, right? Uh, and it doesn't necessarily have to be an application that you wrote. It could be an application that someone else wrote. It's gonna be better if it's something that you know intimately. It could be an example. It could be some homework. It could be problems that you've solved in another programming language. But essentially what we're trying to do here is we're trying to isolate uh, the for, for, from programming, because learning programming, right, or doing programming has two components uh, of it, right? The first component is creating the thing, the, the design, the, the structuring, okay? And then the second component of it is the implementation, okay? Uh, there's actually a really good book on this that, that makes the distinction between those that actually talks about the implementation called Code Complete, one of my favorite books. You can check that out. If you haven't read that book, you should definitely read that book. But l let's talk about, so specifically how this relates to, to learning a programming language. So if we isolate those things, right, because, because what you want to do is you don't want to spend a whole bunch of time working on the thing that's not related specifically to the new programming language. So if you're learning a new programming language, what you want to learn is how to do things in that language, the syntax, the idiosyncrasies, the idiomatic way to do things in that programming language. You don't want to waste your time learning how to design a new program. I think a lot of people that want to learn a new programming language, the mistake that they make is they say, oh, I should create this brand new project, this new project that I'm working on, this new web application, let me create it in this new programming language and I'll learn this new programming language 
project while I'm creating this new thing. And now they're trying to learn two things, right? They're trying to focus on the structural side and the design side of a new application. And they're trying to learn the syntax and idiosyncrasies of, of this new programming language. And that just makes things harder. But instead, if you take something that you've already built, okay, and you now port that over and you say, okay, I'm going to take something I already know how to do, right? And, and the reason why I gave you the reference of my Pluralsight courses is because if you watch some of my Pluralsight courses, you'll notice something really common in a lot of the Pluralsight courses. I created this simple app called Protein Tracker that pr tracks how much protein you eat in a day, right? Just a simple thing when I was tracking my protein. Okay, and it's a real simple application, but it has a user interface, it has buttons, it has some basic functionality that, that is very, very simple. But I use that same example in all of the, in a lot of the courses, not all of the courses, but it makes it easier for you to understand because if you've seen one of my courses, right, and you've seen me teach a programming language and how to implement things, and then you see me do it in another programming language, but it's what's same between the two is the protein tracker application. You already know how that thing works, then all of a sudden your brain makes these connections, right? So there's a there's a book by Douglas Hofstadter called uh, I can't remember the exact name, but it's like Analogies Something of Life. Uh, it, it's a really complicated book. Uh, but anyway, in this Analogies book, he basically talks about this idea that the only way that we can learn new information is that it's an analogy to something else. And this is very, very true. We, the, in the only way that I'm able to teach you anything, the only way you're able to learn from these videos is because I'm making analogies to something you're already familiar with, right? You, if it's totally not familiar with you, to you, it's going to be very, very difficult for you to learn anything. So, so that's the whole strategy, right? You want to learn a new programming language quickly, make an analogy from something else, right? Another programming language you already understand, another application that you've built in that programming language that you understand, and now you're going to take it and you're going to reframe it into this new programming language, and you're going to have all these analogies. You're going to say, oh yeah, you know, in, uh, in C++, this is how we, we created a new object, or this is how we created a button, and oh, in Objective C, it's like this, right? It's just like that, right? We have this analogy that is going to compare those two things together. So uh, I'll give you one quick example of me doing this myself. When I first started learning iOS development, okay, the way that I did it was I ported my Android application over. So I learned iOS development and Objective C, right? Essentially two things, a framework and a language at the same time very, very quickly within I think probably three weeks because what I was doing was I took an Android application that I had already written, okay, and I ported that over bit by bit and by figuring out bit by bit how to do that, I was able to make these connections in my head and say, oh, oh, that's just like in, uh, you know, in Objective-C, how, how I do this just like I did in Java when I, when I try to implement this, or this is how I created that class, right, and I had all of those pieces together. So that really, really accelerated the, the process of, of learning. Just remember that. You implement something that you've already implemented in the new programming language. That's bar none the best way to learn a new programming language quickly. And then for those of you that don't know a programming language, right? If you're just trying to learn a programming language, what I said isn't going to make any sense because you don't have an analogy. You don't have a frame of reference. Instead, I'm going to point you to a new book that I have called The Complete Software Developer's Career Guide. You can check that out. If you sign up there, uh, it may have launched by now, uh, but it should take you to the launch page where you can either sign up and you'll get emails. Uh, I have the chapters that are going to be available for free on my blog. But the very first section of the book okay, talks about how to get started as a programmer and how to learn a programming language from scratch, the kind of things that, that you need to know that I'm not going to have time to cover in this video, but I just wanted to point you to that resource. All right. If you have learned a new programming language uh, doing what, I, what I've recommended, basically porting a, a program over, I would, I would love to, to hear from you. Leave a comment below. This way you can encourage people that are, are trying to do that. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed, click that subscribe button. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.